Ever tried to figure out how your Wi-Fi works and ended up questioning the meaning of life instead? Yeah, same. Now imagine someone explaining the world's largest and most powerful particle collider, the Large Hadron Collider, a machine so advanced it smashes atoms at nearly the speed of light. And here's the kicker. This thing is buried underground in a tunnel that spans two countries, Switzerland and France. Oh, and it's 17 miles long. I mean, who builds a racetrack for particles, right? Europeans, that's who. So what exactly is this massive donut-shaped contraption? Well, the LHC is basically the world's most sophisticated race car for subatomic particles. And when I say race car, I mean these particles are zooming around at 99.99999% the speed of light. But don't get too excited. It's not like you can grab popcorn and watch. The whole thing starts with magnets. And no, not the fridge kind. We're talking superconducting magnets, over 1,200 of them, cooler than outer space and designed to bend particle beams around that 17-mile loop. Just think about that next time your fridge magnet gives up on holding a grocery list. The entire point of all this? To smash protons together like they owe each other money, and then watch what happens. Scientists hope these collisions will answer some of the universe's biggest questions, like what the universe is made of, why things have mass, and most importantly, why your phone battery never lasts an entire day. Remember the whole Higgs boson craze back in 2012? That's right, CERN's LHC found it. Nicknamed the God Particle, it was like discovering the missing puzzle piece to our understanding of the universe. But what's wild is that finding this particle was only the beginning. The LHC has been running experiments that could even help us understand dark matter. And no, that's not the name of a new Marvel movie. Let's talk design for a second. This thing is buried 300 feet underground, which is a little deeper than your average subway tunnel. But instead of taking you to work, this tunnel might unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Kind of puts that rush hour traffic into perspective, huh? So why is it so huge? Simple. The faster you want particles to go, the bigger the track you need. Ever try driving a Ferrari on a cul-de-sac? Yeah, you want a racetrack too. In the LHC's case, it needs all that room to keep particles on track while they're zooming around at near light speed. And now for the fun part. How do you even cool this thing down? Well, they use liquid helium to drop the temperature to a frosty minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, which is colder than space. Take that, Antarctica. That's necessary because superconducting magnets only work when they're super cold, which means the LHC operates in a state so chilly, even your ice cream would be jealous. Development-wise, the LHC has been decades in the making. Originally conceived in the 1980s, it took thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians from over 100 countries to build this behemoth. Can you imagine trying to organize a group project like that? It's hard enough to get five friends to agree on where to eat, let alone wrangling scientists from around the globe to build the world's biggest particle accelerator. So, will this machine find new particles? Unlock new dimensions? Prove we're all living in some kind of matrix? Well, no one knows for sure. But if it does, we'll finally have answers to the mysteries of the universe. Or maybe just better Wi-Fi. So, next time someone asks you what CERN's Large Hadron Collider is all about, just tell them it's the world's biggest, coolest, and coldest particle smashing machine. Built by people who probably know more about the universe than you and I combined. Mind blown? Stay tuned for more science served with a side of humor.